So look, check me out. All right, got this little situation, man. I've been thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. You know what I mean? And I do these stoppy bees on certain little top topics and shit. But something came to my attention recently. My man, you know, Tracy Morgan. But let me give you a little background real first. Real quick, real quick. Background. I say a lot of shit that some might consider ratchet. It's a little aggressive. I cuss a lot. Whatever. You know, I've been accused of having a limited vocabulary, which is ridiculous. My vocabulary is not limited in any shape form or fashion i cuss because the fuck i want to cuss that's what i do you have a problem with it you know it's okay x that's all you gotta do it's a little x in the upper right hand corner click it you don't have to see this shit no more i'm not coming into your living rooms and cussing you and your fucking kids out so stop being a pussy which goes to my next point the pussification of america the pussification of america comedians have always historically been the ones to push the envelope we say a little extra shit we say the shit that america won't say because in pleasant company you can't say that so when you pay your money to go to a fucking comedy show the expectation is he may say some rancid shit in 1971 richard Pryor goes on stage and says don't get caught sucking a dick if you a straight man don't suck a dick you get addicted first of all how can you be a straight man and suck a dick he wasn't saying, hey, if you're a straight man, I know you might suck a dick. It was comedy. Who gives a fuck? Maybe he did suck a dick. Maybe he didn't. Either way, it's just fucking jokes. Stop being sensitive, motherfuckers. It's a guy out named Carlos Mencia. Says some of the most racially offensive shit you could ever say. But the shit is funny. And that's what's comedy. Comedians are able to take the shit that you don't say in normal, what they call mixed company, and say that shit. But you can't do that anymore because Tracy Morgan comes on stage and tells a joke. Unfortunately, in the joke, he said something referencing gay people and then somebody getting their ass whipped or stabbed or something to that effect. Now, was it funny? To some it was. To some it wasn't. Here's how you work a joke, though. If you don't find a fucking joke funny, don't laugh. But there's a public outcry. Oh, my God, I can't believe you said something about gay people. <laughs> Look at how the climate has changed. In the 80s, Eddie Murphy came on stage in a flaming red leather suit. Turned around and said, and I hope you faggots ain't looking at my ass, because I can tell if you faggots looking at my ass, because my ass going to get warm. <laughs> and everybody laughed at it. It was funny. Well, what the fuck has changed? You can't laugh at motherfuckers no more? Black people get on stage and tell black people jokes. That's fine. If a white person gets on stage and tells jokes about black people, he's racist. I'm not talking about them Kramer type jokes. That wasn't a joke. Kramer spazzed the fuck out. I don't condone that bullshit. Allegedly, he's not racist. Sounded racist a motherfucker to me. My bad. But it wasn't done as humor. He spazzed. Stop it, B. Stop being sensitive over everything. The whole fucking country is a bunch of pussies. And it starts out from being little kids. You never get tough. You never learn how to uh, fight. Nothing you had to fight. You got Purell as a baby. You put in Purell... Poor little infant, they can't get germs in their system. Well, how the fuck is their system going to learn how to fight germs? Because you talk to their system about it? Um, lungs, don't worry about dust. It, it'll harm you. Don't let it get inside you. How the fuck is that going to happen? You can't keep your fucking baby in an incubator, you Michael Jackson mom having ass motherfuckers. You will keep your baby in a fucking insulin. You can't do that. In the real world, they're germs. Germs! Purell and everything, you Lysol and down the fucking front door, you can't even grab the door. I seen a motherfucker the other day, he had on a fucking glove to put gas in his car. <sighs> fucking pussy ass motherfucker, go wash your hands, you're a fucking man. Occasionally you gonna smell like man shit, you gonna smell like outdoors every now and then. It's a musky smell, it's what fuck men smell like. Men running around smelling like women now. Don't let that Sean John shit get you fooled. You take a shower, you put that on when you're going to have a fucking date. You don't wear that shit to just be walking around in all the time, motherfucker. Smell like a man's... So you on a basketball court, motherfucker, and you run by me and you smell like floral scents and bath and body works, you bitch built motherfucker. Stop being a pussy, man. Man the fuck up. Sweat every now and then. Ah, damn, these kids is out here now, eight years old. They can dissect the New York Giants defense because they play Madden all day. But you put one of these pussy motherfuckers in the fucking sun for more than 10 minutes, they're going to have heat stroke. You know why? Because little kids don't fucking go out and play no more. They sit in their air-conditioned little incubators and they play video games all day. Thumb strong than a motherfucker. Legs weak as a mother, you pussy-built motherfucker. How the fuck you going to be a sedentary eight-year-old? You fat fucking eating that Subway-ass fucking nine. Y'all the fuck you nine and you on a diet. 
Put your nine-year-old on a diet. Put your nine-year-old out front to begin the summer and lock the fucking door and make that little bitch-ass motherfucker play some goddamn going weird. That's what the fucking problem is. You starting them out as pussies. Then they get a little older. You start teaching about relationships. Here's where the single parent problem comes in where women are talking about I'm the mother and the father. Bullshit. You're the mother and you're taking on the role as disciplinarian because the father isn't there. But here's what happens. You're teaching him from a woman's perspective how to be a man. So you've taught him sensitivity. Let me help you out, ladies. All of this... Get in touch with your feminine side. You should get in touch with your feminine side. We have no feminine side. You are our feminine side. Fellas, if you have a feminine side, it's called a vagina. And if you're a man with a vagina, you're a woman. Ta-da! That's easy, motherfucker. You don't have no fucking feminine side. Only emotion you can have is fucking anger for somebody saying you have a fucking feminine side. Fuck out of here with that pussy ass shit. It's no pussy. The pussification of America. Stop it, B. Cut that shit all the way the fuck out. Everybody's sensitive over everything. Oh, did you hear him? He said that they were gay. Oh, he's an anti-Semitic motherfucker. Oh, they said blacks. He said the blacks. Those people. Fuck you. Pull yourself up by your fucking bootstraps and get your fucking life together. Fuck out of here. You know every motherfucker who's ever slighted black people, but you don't know why gas prices just went down. You know every motherfucker who's told a Jewish joke and poor taste, but you have no idea why we're still in Afghanistan. Who gives a fuck, you selfish fuckers? You pussy mother... Nobody can say anything. Women. Women don't have equal rights. That's the fuck you do. You have equal rights. You can do every fucking thing I do. Women don't get paid the same as men. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That is fucked up. That right there is fucked up. If you do the same job a man does, you should get paid the same money. That's fucked up. However, crying like a little pussy ain't gonna change that. And fellas, acting like a little pussy ain't gonna get you no pussy. So man up, tap yourself on the chest and grow a pair of balls, you pussy motherfuckers. The whole fucking country is pussified. Let me tell you how pussy it is. Let me tell you how pussy it is. It's real pussy when it's now accepted for you to be a baby daddy that don't take care of his fucking kids. Because that's what the fuck is going on out here. That's some pussy ass shit. Woman tell you you pregnant and you haul ass, you pussy motherfucker. That's some pussy ass shit. But it's accepted apparently because 73% of African Americans are born into single parent homes. So apparently 73%, which is the majority, of motherfuckers don't stay where the fuck they're supposed to stay when the baby is conceived. You pussy mother, that's some pussy shit. So now we have a cycle of more pussification. Pussification. I'm going to make that a real fucking word, you pussified ass bastards. Stop it, B. Man, the fuck up. Stop being sensitive about dumb shit and go out there and fight for some shit that means something. I don't give a fuck if you call me a nigga. It didn't change what the fuck happened to me today. That's not a sign of a lack of respect. A sign of a lack of respect is not paying me the same fucking money for the motherfucking work that I'm doing that you pay another motherfucker for the work that I'm doing. That's no respect. Calling me a nigga, that's your fucking opinion. Not paying me, that's lack of respect. Not paying me to get your ass whipped. Stop whipping motherfuckers' asses for calling you a nigga and start whipping motherfuckers' asses for paying you $10 an hour for a job that they're paying a white guy $15 an hour for. That's disrespect. Blatant than a motherfucker. But here's the problem. If you disrespect it yourself, you allow the rest of the world to disrespect you. So, women, you call yourself a bitch, then I call you a bitch, then you say I disrespected you. You're a pussy. You called yourself a bitch. Man the fuck up. You want to be a man because you're talking like a man. Fuck that. I'm a bad bitch. Okay, bad bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Can't take that, though. Now you all in your feelings. You can't get call me a bitch. Any man that can't respect a woman doesn't respect himself. Fuck you, you pussy-ass bitch. Now, if you want me to treat you with the respect afforded to most women, then conduct yourself as a fucking woman. If you're going to conduct yourself like a bitch, bitch, I'm going to treat you like a bitch. Can't be a pussy and be a bad bitch. One or the other has to go. Fucking pussy ass motherfuckers. The whole country is pussies. Starts when you're a kid. Get your kids off these fucking video games before we grow up with a whole bunch of pansy ass motherfuckers. And I ain't even talking about gay. I'm talking about straight pussy ass men. Tight jean wearing ass sensitive ass motherfuckers with your nipples chafed and shit. How the fuck you wearing these tight ass fucking shirts and your nipples don't bleed? That shit makes my nipples bleed looking at you motherfuckers you pussy. I don't even like talking to you motherfuckers. Fuck out of here.